forsaken cause we all need Jesus You ain't alone man, we all got a reason To call on him in all different seasons It's hard to find someone you can really trust Harder to find someone with unconditional love It's a two-in-one with our Father from up above So we don't gotta worry, he will always be enough All we gotta do is follow you All we gotta do is follow you All we gotta do is follow you day three day three of vbs and as it, as like before we're going to start out with our memory verse this time once through you got this it's not a problem okay so it's ephesians 3 18 and it's grasp no there's grasp grasp how wide how long how high and how deep is the love of Christ. Oh, that was beautiful, beautiful. And um, so yesterday, what did we learn yesterday? Jesus feeding the 5,000. And how our faith grows deeper when we use our gifts. It's very important. God gave us gifts and we, our faith, faith will definitely grow when we use them. Now today, we're going to learn about how our faith grows again, but when we spend time with God. So that's very important too. Yeah, see that? So um, that's going to be what you guys look out for that part when you hear the lesson. And once again, we're going to stand up and do that song because it's, you guys are starting to get the words and the motions going on here now. So it's awesome.
The story of Easter. Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus. Hey, yo! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus Come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. <laughs> and the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. What? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day and ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? hey -oh. ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever.
For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Hi everyone. Welcome to day three of Vacation Bible School. Today's big picture concept is that my faith grows deeper when I spend time with God. And we can spend time with God by praying and being nice and quiet and by reading our Bible. Today I'm going to read from the Bible from Philippians chapter 1 verses 5 through 11. Here's what it says. In your lives, you must think and act like Christ Jesus. Christ himself was like God in everything. He was equal to God, but he did not think that being equal with God was something to be held on to. He gave up his place with God and made himself nothing. He was born to be a man and become like a servant. And when he was living as a man, he, was, he humbled himself and was fully obedient to God. He obeyed even when that caused his death. Death on a cross. So God raised Christ to the highest place. God made the name of Christ greater than every other name. God wants every knee to bow to Jesus. Everyone in heaven and on earth and under the earth, everyone will say, Jesus Christ is Lord, and bring glory to God the Father. Um, this week we're talking about the ocean deep, and um, on Monday we learned about how um, God separated the waters so Moses and his people can could walk through kind of like that when we sin we are separated from God just like the waters were on one side and the other we're separated from God but Jesus came to bring us back together Jesus came so our sins would be forgiven and so that we can live with God and not be separated from him and God loves us so much, and he wants us to be a part of that. His arms are so wide, like the ocean. His arms are so deep, like the sea. Have a great day.
everyone today's craft um, is all in a bag and it has this instruction sheet on it and we're going to show you what to do first you want to take the clear cross and today we talked about how Jesus died on the cross for us okay so we take the clear cross and your little bottle of glue and spread some glue over the clear cross You may or may want not want to take like a paintbrush or your finger if you wash it and spread it out, but it kind of gives you an idea. All right, then next you take the little pieces of paper and you <laughs> spread them out over the cross. There's all kinds of little squares. And you can kind of use them to spread out the glue too. After you get your whole cross covered, then you take the black piece, and it looks solid at first, kind of like the bottom of this one does. So the bottom of this one's kind of solid. But what you want to do is punch those little shapes out. shapes that you punch out. They match the cross, so sometimes they can be hard to see. And then at the top, there's another little shape. When you get it all punched out, this is a giant sticker. So, you just peel off the back. Peel off the back, oops, and um, and then stick it on top of your clear cross. And then you there's a string, you can put it on and then hang it in your window, and it'll be like a stained glass window. Have a great day.